this is Avinash Sharma and in this video we will discuss the read line versus read lines in R programming language and first of all we start with the read line this statement this function read a line from the terminal what it mean suppose you have a program and in program you want to user to input some value before starting the program then you can use this read line function so let's see first of all we create a function f1 then function and syntax is say name variable then read line read line and in, in read line in parameter we have a prompt prompt the message that what kind of value you want user to input say prompt please enter the name so this is a message so that the you can can understand that user has to input the name in the second statement then say age then we can write please enter the age and then third say math please enter the math marks then next line say english and please enter the English marks. So we have the four read line statement. It means we need the four value. Okay. Now get and we print say name then name then and uh, also we need the say new line so in cat total and then we say m a t h plus e n g so we are adding the value of two subject that is the math and English okay now so this is our function okay now we call this function f1 and now so first first prompt is the please enter the name say send then second read line is 22 third one please enter the math marks say 55 and please enter the English marks and then 60 okay if I enter here so first of all it will print the name and then will add the value of the two subject but we will get error okay we have an error the errors non numeric arguments because when you use this read line function so this function takes the argument as a string and the mathematical operation cannot be done on the string value now the marks of the English and maths are in string so first of all to add this value we have to convert these two subjects into the numbers or numeric value so for this purpose we have a function inbuilt function predefined function str2i string to integer then str2i now we have converted the 
these two marks into the numbers now we try so again name sam age 22 marks 80 and then 90 now enter so the name sam and the total is now 170 so this is how you can use the single or multiple read line functions and each read line function takes one argument now we check the read lines the difference between the read line and the read lines is read line takes the input from the terminal but the read lines read the text line by line from a file so this is the difference between the read and read line and the read lines so this is the syntax read lines and the these are the parameters all the first parameter is the mandatory the rest parameter are the optional but they have their own default value so first of all n n means like how many lines you want to read suppose you have a 10 line set text file and you want to read only 5 lines then you can define in the n equal to 5 second one the okay by default true suppose you have a 10 line in the text file and you want to read the 20 lines so in that case you will get a warning and if you do not want to display the warning then you have to make it okay equal to false then warn warn means sometimes in file the end of file is not marked properly so it will display a warning but if you do not want that kind of warning then warn you have to make it false encoding encoding means suppose you want to take the ascii and the non ascii character both say russian chinese japanese urdu any language you want to uh, take in your text file then you can define here uni encoding by default say utf a first of all we check path equal to then get wd and print path so this is our working directory current directory and on this uh, current directory we have those location we have a file this is the demo dot text if we check this file so we have four lines in this file the first line second line third line and the fourth line now okay we start this one we take variable say all text equal to then read lines and then path we can use the paste function say path and then demo dot text and separator no space because we are using the paste function and the paste function when the com combine two strings then it creates a space between two strings it means the path name and the file name so we do not want the space we want the complete path so we are using the separator as a no space okay so now print all text clear and now we check this one so you can see we have the four lines okay now we use the parameter say n equal to 
it means we are reading the top two lines then we check this one run so we have only two lines the first line and the second line now suppose I make it 20 so we have only four lines in the files and we are reading the 20 files 20 lines then what happens if I execute this one so no warning by default ok equal to true it's a true no warning I execute again no warning if I make it say false then I get the warning error in reading lines too few lines read in them we have only four lines in the text file but we are reading the 20 lines so that's why we have this warning by default true it means there is no warning if you make it false then it will display the warning ok so we read this one and make it true now we go to the text file I press the backspace to remove the end of file mark ok so in this file there is no end of file marking I save this one now so by default no warning ok w a r n equal to say true this is the default setting if I execute this one 10 it displays a message warning incomplete final line found so if you do not want this message then simply make it false now no warning and the next one is the say encoding utf8 and have a good day so I take this Chinese word now paste in the text file now I check so you can see the last one this is called the non ASCII characters and UTF can accept the ASCII and the non ASCII character both so this is how you can use the read lines functions for reading the data from the text file line by line so guys this was all about the read line and the read lines in our programming language thanks for watching the video please like the video and subscribe the channel